Of all the cryptids, Bigfoot is one of the most pervasively talked about and believed in. There's an astonishing library of horror movies about Bigfoot, some middling, some bad, and very few actually good. Well, as someone who has watched a stupid amount of really low-rent horror movies, including Bigfoot flicks late at night, when I can't think of anything else to watch, allow me to bring you two Bigfoot movies, which actually managed to not only acquire, but retain my attention. That's Lucifer. Say hello to the devil. Our first movie tonight is Primal Rage from 2018. Primal Rage is a movie I've had on my list for a while and only just got around to watching it a few months ago because, frankly, the description doesn't do it any favors. I was more than pleasantly surprised when I finally watched it, so much so that I immediately compiled a list of the best Bigfoot movies in my little notebook where I keep uh, all my potential list ideas. What sets Primal Rage apart from other mid to low budget Bigfoot flicks is the portrayal of Bigfoot. In this one, it's not just some humanoid fur dude who attacks campers for reasons. The classic, its territory is threatened and so it fights back plot is here, but it fights back with weapons and wears a mask that looks a little like the Predator. And speaking of the Predator, there is a clear influence at work here from that movie. A, a large humanoid, supernaturally stealthy hunter stalks and takes out people in the forest. Really, what's not to like? Also, a few fun facts. Male lead Andrew Joseph Montgomery had his foot amputated after a motorcycle accident and made his big screen debut with Primal Rage. Previously, he was in a Las Vegas show called La Rev and was the only amputee in the cast. Casey Gagliardi, the female lead, spent four years abroad dancing for the Walt Disney Company in Paris, Japan, Brazil. Primal Rage was also her debut film. I find it truly fascinating that two stage performers both made their debut in Primal Rage, a movie about a Bigfoot that uses weapons. It's uh, I, I'm sure it's not unheard of, but I personally haven't known of any movie where the, the two leads are stage performers. Not just stage performers, but athletic stage performers, okay? We're talking about a Vegas show and overseas Disney company shows. These people are athletes, and they make their film debut in a movie about uh, Predator Bigfoot. <laughs> and I have to say, one of the big selling points of this flick is that it almost exclusively uses practical effects, which is always a good thing in horror. On to our second flick, Dawn of the Beast 2021. This is another Bigfoot flick I put off because it sounded bad. Uh, but once again, I was pleasantly surprised and even more happy with watching it than Primal Rage. Believe it or not, this is almost an off-brand Evil Dead movie. I really don't know how else to describe it. I, I, I will warn, it starts slow and you will not like any of the characters. But that is by design. Setting up the, the lead's rise to Ash Williams, Ash William level badassery. There's also another wrinkle on top of the fact that there's a Bigfoot on the loose near these murder fodder young adults all packed into a secluded cabin, which I won't spoil because it's honestly just bonkers and works out super well to make an entertaining movie. <laughs> Basically, everyone in the cast has also been in other similar low budget horror affairs like The Retreat, Monstrous, um, Island Escape, that one's a pretty new one, which was pretty, it was all right. It was, it was fairly decent. I think that one might be on Tubi. So if, if, if you want to check out Island Escape, I, would, uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't stop you. And speaking of Tubi, both of these Bigfoot flicks are available on Tubi with ads. So, I mean, what do you have to lose? Have a good double feature night. And there you have it. It's Bigfoot Friday, baby. Day nine of 13 on the countdown to Halloween. And if you're wondering what happened to night eight, well, I had a bunch of technical issues and that's why I am in a completely different place than you've seen me before if you've been watching the others. And if this is your first video, hey, there's a playlist on screen. Go watch the other ones, but there won't be an eight because everything I own broke. So, but come back tomorrow for day 10 of the countdown to Halloween.
I'm Smokey Lyle. This is Horror and Cats. I'll see you tomorrow.